joke. Uh, fuck. Um, dude, I don't know. <laughs> dude, I just know, like, it smells like wrong dog in here. Wrong dog? Yeah, it smells like wrong dog in here. What's wrong dog? Everything. <laughs> My mother won't draw me a bath. <laughs> I got dating with that the other day, and That's she a died. <laughs> That's a good one. I never heard that one. Oh, man. It smells like wrong dog in here. What's what? wrong dog? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to just have a company and do a bunch of shit like that. Just wild ass, weird yeah. ass interviews. Just like have someone sit in your office, and then like you walk in with like a vial for piss. <laughs> and you're like, piss in this cup. <laughs> I'm like no, 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 no. No, no questions. Never you're, introduced yourself. You're, you're all sweaty, and you're like, no, I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're panicking. <laughs> I need you to piss in this cup. I need you to piss in this cup. And and then they're like, well, can I go to the? You're, you're, can I go to the bathroom? You're like, no time. No. <laughs> Just go in the corner over there. I won't look. I promise. But like they're going, and you keep peeking to see if they're done. <laughs> Fuck. I need this piss. And you're like checking your your clock. And like your phone keeps ringing and you keep ignoring it. <laughs> and then and like, like, are you done yet? And then they give you the sample and you like literally take a swig out of it. <laughs> just take like a like a good old frothy sip. Or or that, or you just sprint out of the office full steam. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you go to sprint out of the office and you turn around and the doors close and you accidentally like yeah. run into the door and smell piss all over yourself. <laughs> And you're, just, and you're just like, fuck! Do you got more? <laughs> Any more in you? <laughs> you just take your shirt off. <laughs> like just stretching it. Into the and it's a dress shirt. It's a button-up dress shirt. You're just wringing it out. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> And then, like, you get, like, a little bit of piss in the jar from there. Yeah. And you're like, this is fine. This, this is enough. fine. You put the shirt back on. <laughs> Slowly. It's, like, silent the whole time you're buttoning it up. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you tuck it back into your, your slacks. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you take some, like, your pissy hands. You run them through your hair. <laughs> and then, like, you like, try and, like, do your mustache up. And you're you, like, how do I look? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> And then you just, you finally leave the office, and they're just like, so do I get the job? Let's like, no, you come back 15 minutes later. Turns out you didn't get the job. <laughs> and I, too, am fired. <laughs> I don't actually work here. <laughs> oh, my lord. I would love to, that would be some, like, really good, like, punked TV shit, you know? Yeah, just, just have, fucking, like, a, a job, like, a... Oh, just have, like, a fake business. Yeah, set up and hidden cameras and just yeah, weird-ass fucking stunts like that. I would love to do that. Dude, if we, if, like... Oh, fuck. That would be so funny if, like... To uh, have a skit show where we just fuck with people, like, yeah. a, like an Eric Andre type situation. Yeah, I would love that, dude. And, mm-hmm. like, so obviously we'd have to make, like, money beforehand. And like, like start oh, like, yeah. fake, like like a fake business. So like, oh, yeah. if YouTube or anything ever took off, right. that would be like the perfect like sketch show. comedy. You know? Yeah, show to start where we just like Let's do made a shit. fake business. Because I think we'd have to make it a real business first. Well, so. the business would that would be the business. Yeah, but we'd f- we'd have to front it as something else. True, true. So we'd have to be like, this is an office job or something like that. <laughs> it's something like wild. Yeah. yeah, and we just punk the hell out of people. Oh I would God. love that, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. You about to fight your first boss? Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm so scared. Someone get me a bath. Dude, I remember being a kid and like, oh, you remember his episode? Yeah. I don't remember his episode now, though. I, I don't remember it so much now. I'm assuming he loves peanut butter. Is that the joke? Uh, I think Is it's... Is that the bit? I think it's an episode... No, no, it's not... It's not the, it's not the jellyfish Krabby Patty episode, I don't think. Oh, okay. You know the one where Spongebob... Oh, boy, you gotta taste this patty. It's no ordinary patty. patty. It's, it's a patty way. with jellyfish jelly. <laughs> yeah. Is it that episode he's in? Or I have no one? idea. It might be. I think so, because I remember the blue jellyfish are in that episode. 
It's a patty with jellyfish jelly. <laughs> Boy, you gotta taste this patty. <laughs> yep. I love that. Oh my god, SpongeBob's the best, dude. They've had the best musical moments in TV since 1999. Oh yeah. I, I That's 100% serious. Yep. It is so good. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. So good. It is. So good. It is so good. It is so good. And then even the movie where it was like, um... I'm a goofy goober! Rock. I remember singing that a lot as a, as a chill. We're all goofy goobers! Rock! Yeah, or, um, now that we're men. Yeah. We can do anything now that we're men. I changed my underwear <laughs> now that we're men. We'll oh, get man. the crown, save the town, and Mr. Krabs. That's another uh, old, like, GameCube SpongeBob game that was fun, was the SpongeBob movie game. I don't remember that one. I don't think I had it. I, I, I know I did, and I used to play it a lot. Okay, dude, GameCube movie games were just a thing I know. for a while. I had... Well, all, all old school consoles, because PS2 had a lot, yeah. too. Cause oh, I, yeah. I remember playing... Um, the PS2 uh, Star Wars um, Revenge of the Sith game. Oh, boy. And it just followed the movie plot. The movie, yeah. Well, I had, like... I remember specifically having Polar Express for the GameCube. I had Monster oh, yeah. House for the GameCube. I had, like, a Monsters, Inc. game. I Just a bunch of random, like, fucking movie games. Like I had Batman Begins. Really? I remember that. <laughs> that one was my game, though, because Batman Begins for GameCube was a lot of fun. Really? It was like Arkham Asylum before Arkham Asylum came out. Really? It was a really good Batman game. I never played it. I, I, I don't know what happened to movie games. They like, just, like, they never made money, so I think they, they realize it's not worth the time. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you don't fucking see a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog movie game, you know? Yeah. Which I'm sure in 2009 you would have. Yeah, I know. And I think it'd be dope with the uh, new, like, with the model in that game. Mm-hmm. Like, the Sonic, with the way he looks. Dude, I just recently rewatched it, because I bought it. Yeah, and I, I love too. it. I love it. I find Sis finally seen it. Oh, yeah? She loved it, actually. It's so, so good. It it's, is. The whole movie's good. It's so good. And, I mean, it would not have been nearly as good if they didn't change Sonic. Because yeah. that other Sonic was so horrifying. He was. He was terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What other movie games did I have? I feel like I had like a Scooby Doo game, or maybe you had a Scooby Doo game when we were kids. S- yeah, because well, I remember I had I got a PS One mm-hmm. late, like because GameCube and PS Two were already out. But I had a PS One and I had Scooby Doo Cyber Chase or something. Cyber, like. yeah, yeah, Cyber Bully. It or was whatever. a it was a platformer that was just terrible. And you yeah, could tell it was, it was garbage. trying to be like a ban or not a banjo. Um, what was that other? What was that other fucking um? Crash. Crash. Crash Bandicoot. Yep. Bikini Batam. SpongeBob. Even she hopped on board to record her lines. Everyone did besides Mr. Krabs. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> because I'm telling you, that's money. I know. It's all money. Maybe the voice of Mr. Krabs just doesn't like video games or something. Well, I don't know. I mean, Super Mega was talking about it, and they said that supposedly it's in his contract that he only is signed on for uh, the shows. He refuses to do anything else personally. Oh, really? Yeah. So why wouldn't he do this? It's just in his contract that he doesn't have to, so he doesn't want to. Hmm. Like, that's the one thing he argued in his contract, that he only wanted to do the show. And I'm like, why not, dude? There's so much more media that you could have done to, like, just make money. I know. (laughs) Whatever. Well, dude, to some people, money isn't everything, dude. Well, you know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, shit, I wish I could say money wasn't everything, but I'm a broke bitch. Yeah. Nice. Same Shooting kitchen sinks at you. Yeah, dude, they're chucking everything but the kitchen sink at me. Oh, but this in this moment in time, they are. They eat the kitchen sink. They do the kitchen sink, dude. Nice. Oh, I gotta, he's got to get a little bit more hype. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh! See, and this is, this is a... And the reason I think this game is so good, because it wasn't like... It is the show, but it's not following a particular plot. No, like, it's not. The show. It's just its own thing, which is dope. 
Yeah, it, it very much does like its own unique thing just to this like movie yeah. or this game. Yeah, and there is some funny dialogue in here. You can tell like it has the original SpongeBob writers, but you can also tell that they're just a little bit awkward by the video game format. Right. Um, but it is it it does have some hearty horrors in here, dude. Hell yeah. We just haven't been paying attention. I'm we, glad this game. How the fuck do I get up here? Doesn't kick you out of the world every time you collect a, 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 sp a spatula. Yeah. It's like, because in a lot of platformers like this back in the day, like That's what they would Super do. Mario Sunshine, any Super Mario game, yep. as, after you collected the, the the star, it kicked you out. Yeah. So this that was really like cool. Like, you don't have to keep loading the world. You can just stand here and you can see another spatula off in the distance. Yeah, I wonder what the first platformer was that did that, where you didn't leave the world every time you collected what you're supposed to collect. Hell, it might even have been this one, because like I can't really think of many, many like platformers. Well, I guess like, <clears throat> and I would look it up, but I don't know what exactly to look up. What to look up? Because yeah, because there's very like, because there are other platformer collectors like. Um, Spyro, like yeah. that one doesn't kick you out of the world every time you collect something. So that might be the first, maybe. So like, yeah, like that could even. But then again, it's not like, um, it's not like Mario where every time you go into the world or you go into the world, there's a preconceived uh, goal. Right. Like this one, there's no preconceived goal. No, you just go around and figure it out. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, yeah, I guess uh, Spyro or, like, really could have done it. Dude, do you remember, like, Crocs? Yeah, you were telling me. I never played it, but oh, you were dude, telling Crocs me Crocs is it. such a weird fucking platformer. Yeah. It's about an alligator guy who collects these, like, little fuzzy things, and I just... I don't... It's... Was it for the N64? PlayStation 1. Oh, okay. And it's, like, so ingrained in my head for some reason. I wonder if it's on the PS4 marketplace. It might be. It could be. It was a big game. A lot of people love it. I'll it's like it a up. it's like a cult classic. Really? Yeah. I'll, I'll look into it. It's got some really trippy music. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll have to play if it's uh, on that marketplace. If not, I think um, com the completionist went played through it recently. Oh really? Yeah, and he's got a really funny video about it. Gerard the completionist. The complete boy. That dude is so like genuinely nice. You can tell. Oh like, yeah. He's not like one of those YouTubers that you can just tell have like a douchey side to him. Yeah. Like you could just tell he's just all nice. Oh That's yeah. That's what I love about him. Such a pure, pure being. Pure boy. He's a pure boy. Yeah, he, he sure is a pure boy. I have, I do have a hard time watching some of his videos just because like I can get bored of him him really quick. Yeah, it's because it, it's not like a the best comedy. Um, no, not not always. Um, but if it's a game, I really like. Heck yeah, I love watching him because he always has like good shit to say. <laughs> he like doesn't hate on things too much. Yeah, yeah, and he he does make. He always makes really valid points. Yep. He, he's a gamer, dude. You unlocking Sandy in this episode? Next or? episode, dude. Fuck! See you in that shit, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, 